let's talk about batteries and battery cables um, and a few of the tools regarding uh, battery cables and how you make them. Um, for batteries we use an uh, Interstate U2200 golf cart battery. Uh, those may or may not be lo available locally but generally you can get these all over the United States. Um, if you can't get a uh, Interstate U2200 battery, which we recommend, uh, you know, go for golf cart batteries. Uh, they all tend to be uh, same general spec uh, of 6 volt, uh, 200 to 220 amp hour deep cycle 6 volt battery uh, is what they use in golf carts. And so if you can't get this exact battery, you can get one similar to it locally. Uh, there's a few features that you want to look for. Interstate U2200 has a great warranty, uh, nationwide uh, presence, and so we like to use this battery because uh, I've had cases where a battery, uh, you know, went down and uh, you can have Interstate come out and actually deliver the battery. If you're an installer, uh, Interstate has delivery service to the site, so you can actually buy the, buy the batteries from them. You can get a, a Wind Energy 7 discount from them and uh, they can actually deliver the heavy batteries to the site so you don't have to cart those around. So you can have those delivered right to the home that you're installing to and uh, uh, you know they're just a great battery you know you can rely on. Um, another thing about the battery is a feature that you want to look for is called a speed cap. Okay. Um, after about a year, year and a half of use, you want to start checking your batteries every six months. Um, and uh, what you, you have to get into these holes of each cell to check uh, the battery. And you just check the fluid level and the content of it. And basically there's a, there's a, a problem when you do that. And if you've ever checked an automotive battery, you know that you put a screwdriver under this cap and the cap goes into three holes and, uh, and it could pop off, pop off on the ground or whatever. And additionally, battery, battery uh, batteries have acid in them, which is corrosive material. You don't want to get that on you. You don't want to get it uh, on your battery cabinet even. You just don't want to get that anywhere besides inside the battery. So how elegantly you can check that battery is very important. Um, additionally, a lot of batteries will have screw-on caps. Well, you got to screw off the cap. You might drop the cap. Uh, it gets this corrosive uh, material uh, on your battery cabinet, on your skin, on your floor, whatever. Um, and so you've got this cap that you've got to unscrew one by one, etc. Okay, hence the speed cap, great invention. Uh, this interstate battery always has a speed cap. The speed cap allows you to check all the cells in the battery in one step, and, and, it, and it's very handy and very clean way to do it so that you're not dropping caps on the floor, nothing's popping off, you're not getting any battery acid anywhere but inside the battery, uh, which is very critical. So the speed cap has a has a uh, basically a one-step operation that ties all the cells together. You've got three cells in a, in a six volt battery. It ties all three of those cells, hence the three holes you got to look into together in one apparatus. You could just open it and put it back just like that in one step. So I'll show you what that looks like. Let's take the speed cap off. All you got to do is go like this, twist it, pull it off. And now I'm into all three cells of that battery. And this is what a speed cap looks like. Hopefully the video will focus to that. So your speed cap ties together these cells and you can open and close it like that. I'll show you the other side of that. See how that works? So when you want when you, you check your batteries, you put the speed cap back on and you just twist. Boom. So, you know, your batteries are sealed. Speed cap, boom, off. Speed cap on, boom. Hence the name speed cap. You gotta love it. So, speed cap is something you want. Now, a lot of batteries don't come with a speed cap. And uh, you actually have to buy that speed cap for about 15 bucks if you want it. Or you can just unscrew every little cap if you want. But I would recommend you not buy a battery without a speed cap. And that's one of the reasons I recommend you buy Interstate because it comes with it. Uh, the price of these batteries is going to run anywhere from 75 to 100 bucks. Uh, this exact same battery in some kind of solar boutique 
Uh, you know, a lot of these uh, PV solar dealers will sell you batteries for 200 bucks a pop. Uh, you know, it's probably one of these batteries with a, with a different sticker on the side. It's just rebranded. Uh, these are deep cycle, 6 volt, 232 amp hour batteries. They'll stand up against anybody's solar battery uh, of two or three times the cost. So that's why we don't sell batteries because most of them are a ripoff. And, uh, you know, we just show you where to get the batteries, explain them to you, and let you buy the batteries without any markup. Additionally, we don't want to have batteries being shipped all over the United States, uh, using up fuel and causing pollution when, you know, you've got the batteries right there in your own town. You can buy them, source them locally, keep the money there in your own uh, economy. Uh, so that's about all I can think of about the battery. Interstate U2200, that's what we recommend. Um, you can use different batteries, we don't recommend that. Um, you can use different things than all golf cart batteries, we don't recommend that. Um, one of the reasons we like for all our installers and customers to use exactly what we recommend is continuity. Continuity of all our systems installed across the United States being very similar if not the same, as close as possible that we can configure them, ensures that when you call me on the phone, uh, you know, I can troubleshoot your system much quicker. I know exactly what we're talking about. I can see it in my mind because you did that system the way that Wind Energy 7 recommends. So there's a lot of options on what you can do with the system and um, a lot of people may freelance out there but uh, as a dealer or a customer for Wind Energy 7 I can support you better if you just do as we recommend.